Joining me in the kitchen today is Nick D'Andrea, Executive Director of We Amplify Voices. Nick, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. Why don't you tell me a little bit about WAVE? So we started in 2011. It was originally called the Dick and Jane Project, and originally our mission was empowering students through songwriting. Uh, so we would bring in professional local musicians, they'd work with small groups of students, and they'd write and record a professional song together, and then we'd play it on local radio. So over time it evolved and we started making music videos with the kids, we started doing visual arts projects, uh, and then during COVID we really changed up and started working with adults because all the schools were closed and sure. kind of developed new programming uh, just for adults. Uh, at the Ohio Reformatory in Marysville, and then at uh, Goodwill and some other uh, adult programs. Um, but our mission is healing communities through creative expression. So it's not really about learning how to write songs or learning how to uh, paint, but about going through a creative process together to kind of express yourself and uh, hopefully have some healing through that. Sure, that's incredible. It sounds like a great way to connect not only with the music, but maybe with a little bit of yourself, that kind of thing. Definitely, yeah. And then, you know, the stories that people share during those processes, we then share with the larger community through the songs that they write, we share them on local radio, and the videos that they create, we share on different streaming platforms. That's awesome. It's like a win for everybody. We get new music, people get to heal. That's wonderful. Yeah, it's a circle. I love I it. Say. Yeah. Well, we always like to get into the food here at Kate's Quick Bite. So, why uh, don't you tell me what recipe we're going to try? Yeah, so we're going to make stuffed grape leaves. Oh, yum. Um, this is my aunt's recipe. My mom's side of the family comes from Lebanon, so this is something that they've continued to make. She's modified it a little bit over time, so we're gonna kind of stick to her recipe. Awesome, well, yeah. why don't you tell us what we need for the recipe? Sure, we'll use 75 to 85 grape leaves, uh, one pound of ground lamb shoulder, one cup of uncooked rice, 20 ounce canned tomatoes, a teaspoon of dried mint, three quarter stick of butter, one tablespoon of allspice, a dash of cinnamon, one lemon, salt and pepper to taste, and paprika to taste. Okay, Nick, what's our first step here? So we're basically just gonna put everything into the bowl together. Okay, so um, we're just gonna make a mixture, make the filling. Yep. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. All right, so we'll just add stuff in. So this is our lamb. Mm -hmm. Get that going in there. Oops, a little loud. Okay, and the rice which we rinsed. So yes. the rice has been rinsed just to kind of yep. help it. Soften it. Yeah. And... Tomatoes. This is going to be a lovely mixture. A little melted butter, just, you know. Yeah, and that's actually one of the additions, and it this really a... does wonders. Shocking. <laughs> the butter makes it delicious. Who knew? All of our spices will go in and seasonings. Mm -hmm. Great. So um, while I mix this all up, why don't you tell me about the youth programs? Yeah, so we work uh, mainly in uh, Columbus City Schools. Um, we have year-round programming where we'll be in a school um, five days a week with a class. And then we have 10-week uh, songwriting and visual arts workshops that we'll do in schools as well. Um, but it's all kind of built around social-emotional learning and uh, kids kind of self-esteem, self-awareness, um, collaboration, and really just, especially you know, because of COVID, uh, kids lost so much, especially when it comes to relating to each other. So our workshops we really look at as safe spaces where we just kind of give kids a creative space to engage with each other um, in an authentic way and just kind of hear what each other are going through. You know, if you get a group of kids together in a circle and just ask them to talk about their feelings, it's like pulling teeth. It's but, never going to work. Yeah. Right. But if you're, we're writing a song together or we're uh, creating art together, yeah. it's amazing what comes out of that. Do the kids need to have any kind of musical experience? No, we've always tried to keep a really low barrier of entry. So that's kind of why we'll bring in professional local musicians who will do the creation part with the kids. Um, so what they get at the end is a very polished and professional, you know, piece of art um, that they, you know, feel like they have creative ownership of, but it keeps that low barrier of entry where anybody can do it. That's awesome. Yeah. All right. I feel like I've done a pretty good job of mixing yeah, this all together. Yeah, that looks great. Um, okay. So I want to hear more about the programs, but I also want to know how to stuff a grape leaf. So yes. <laughs> let's all right. get going. All right. So the mixture's ready. We mm -hmm. have our grape leaves mm -hmm. and we have this pot. So why don't you walk mm -hmm. me through what's our end game here? What's the goal? Yeah. So basically we're going to uh, use all of these grape leaves, fill them with stuffing, uh, roll them up like little burritos and just lay them uh, kind of in alternating rows until we've used all the grape leaves. Mm -hmm. 
Um, and then we're going to cover them with lemons and uh, a plate to hold them down. And then we're just going to boil them for about okay, 45 so minutes. That's what cooks the meat and kind of locks yeah. in the... Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. All right. Do you have any tricks for, for filling the grape, grape leaves? Yes. Um, my one piece of advice is less is more. Okay. Um, <clears throat> just overstuffing can make them come apart when they're boiling. Sure. So you'll just watch you lay out your grape leaf mm -hmm. and then um, take about a small scoop, uh, put it in the middle there, and then just like with a burrito, you'll just uh, fold over the ends mm -hmm. like that, and then you'll take the other end and just kind of do a rolling okay. motion like that, and then you've got a grape leaf. Oh. <laughs> there, that's, that's great. So wow, first one. Hey, and then just wow. put it like seam side down. Yep. All right, and then, and we'll then just we just pack do this them tightly in here. Forever. If forever, yeah. <laughs> okay. So a lot of conversation can right, happen. Right, totally. And, you know. I can see this being a good family activity. I mean, kids, and, you know, just kind of get in there and roll these up and chat. Yeah, and two of my sisters have really embraced making these since we learned from my aunt. Mm -hmm. So they get together all the time now and, and make these. and. I think it's a really That's fun, awesome. like bonding thing yeah. for them. Can you make these ahead, or do you really need to serve them right when you, right when they're boiled? So a lot of people serve them cold. Oh. Um, like that's how you'll get them at most restaurants, mm -hmm. but they're really, really good, just hot, um, out of the pan, and that's typically how we'll serve them. <laughs> Okay, that was really fun. I feel like I thought it would be challenging. And yeah, no, you're a natural. Oh, good. <laughs> so we've got all of our little uh, stuffed grape leaves in this pot. Mm -hmm. What do we do next? Uh, so we'll uh, first cover them with lemons. Okay, just lay the lemons on top. Yep, just all lay right. the lemons on top. A little top. extra acid, a little flavor. Mm-hmm. Nice. So pretty. Yeah, it's a nice color palette. Okay. Now what? So then we'll put this... Uh, plate inverted on top of them okay. and we'll just lay it in there and that will just hold everything down oh, after we put the water in to boil. So that just keeps them so that they don't float away. Yeah. All right. And now I just cover it up to over the plate. Yeah. Over okay. the top of the bowl with water and I'll just Thank hold you. it. Thank you. Teamwork. All right. If there's a little bit of the tomato sauce left over, you can add that too. Okay. A little extra flavor. Is that good mm -hmm. or? That's perfect. Okay. And now we cook these? For about 45 minutes. Okay. All right. And is there anything else you said you can add the tomato for flavoring? Is there anything else? You, uh, you can also add a lamb bone if you want to. Ooh. That's the, the old school. Old there. school. Yeah. Extra flavor. <laughs> All right. Good to know. Okay. So we'll let that come to a boil. And in 45 minutes, ooh, we get to eat them. I can't wait. Awesome. While we wait patiently, why yes. don't you tell me a little bit about some of the programs you have for adults? What we were finding was just the same workshop process that we were doing with the kids, adults really benefited from as well, and uh, in a lot of cases even more because there's a lot to unpack there over a lifetime. Um, so we've maintained that and just kind of continue to expand that. We've worked with um, Catch Court, um, which is a, a court program that uh, services women who are um, affected by human trafficking. Um, and we're just kind of always open to finding those new adult programs that might benefit from um, healing through creative expression. That's amazing because when you think about it, there really aren't as many resources for adults. Like for kids, we right. often think about, okay, let's talk about our feelings, let's connect, but you're right. right. It doesn't sound like there's that many opportunities for adults, so that's so great. Yeah, something we're hoping to do uh, more of over the next few years is at our own uh, offices having open enrollment programming for people from all over the city and we really want to create just a, a table where people from all over the city are going through this process together. Wonderful. Yeah. Okay Nick, these look amazing. They do. I'm really proud of us. Oh, I think they look gorgeous. I cannot wait to taste but I just want to, before we, we dig into these, what's one thing you want people to take away from WAVE? You can find all of the songs and music videos that we've made on any streaming platform. So like wherever you listen, Spotify, iTunes, Amazon, or YouTube. Um, and if you go to our website, you can see all the different projects that we've done and kind of watch the content. And 
Um, the whole point of our organization is to just share the stories from the people that have been a part of it. So that's one way you can do that and kind of engage with the mission. That's so great. And then we yeah. get good music to listen to out of the deal. Hopefully. Well, that's yeah. awesome. <laughs> All right. I, I want to taste this. Let's you just pick it up with your hands. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're oh, family. Yeah. Okay. That's right. I'm so excited. Cheers. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> <laughs> It's really good. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. They got it when they're fresh. It's just they're not the better. prettiest to eat on television, but they're <laughs> really good, yeah. delicious, and they're uh, they're warm. You're right. I think I've yeah. only had cold, cold ones. Yeah, and you really taste the lemon more when they're mm -hmm. cold, but when it's warm, you kind of get more of the all, the butter and the the butter. <laughs> the butter is good, and all the spices. Mm -hmm. It's so flavorful. And cinnamon is like it, you know, and especially in like Lebanese cooking, like mm -hmm. it's really comes through and it's unexpected and Absolutely. it's nice. Yeah. Thank you for showing me this recipe. This has been great. Absolutely. Thanks for having me.